Hey everyone, I uh, want to thank you for buying one of our Thanksgiving turkeys. We're happy to work with Tom Arnold who helped us get started early on by bringing our beef from the processor to our home and he had some extra turkeys so we're glad you got one. Now to open the bag, real simple, this bag is just a solid shape so we just want to stick our right here in the gap, stick a scissors right through and cut that and we want to cut this little ring thing right out and when we do that now this bag will open up to the full width of the turkey okay so now we're going to take the turkey out of the bag and make sure that we can uh, see everything that's in here the thing i do like to do is save that bag for the giblets that are inside so this is pretty important i'm going to take this bag just set her here in the sink now inside the cavity don't forget this you don't want a surprise there's going to be the neck we're going to take that neck out the neck's got some liver on it but we want to make sure we get the rest of the liver out of there so we're going to reach in. This is old school processing, so it's not in fancy bags and stuff. The liver and the heart are just inside of there. So there's the liver. Now we're going to look up inside and find the heart. So, um, of course, when you're doing it on video, it never works as good as when you're doing it in person. So this one, the heart is hiding from us. Gotta love that. The heart's all the way up top. I'm going to stick my hand in and get it. And if you don't get the heart out, it's not a big deal. It's meat, you can eat it, it's just fine. In fact, it's very, very nutrient dense. So the heart may be missing in this one. It was present in the other one. Um, yeah, it's, it's missing, that's just muscle meat up in there. So I'm gonna show you what a heart looks like. So this heart, you know, was located up inside the cavity. So get it out if there is one. There may not be one, as in this case. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look because all these uh, turkeys are different sizes and shape and they're raised on pasture. They're, it's not a factory process like you're used to at a big conglomerate. So every bird varies a lot and we're the small time processor too. So we gotta make sure that we no feathers and pin feathers got missed. So a great way to do this is take your hand and rub up against the, what the directions of the feathers would be. Just feel for some pin feathers here on the breast muscle. This one here is pretty clear, but here I found one. You can see there's a pin feather right there, okay? So what we're going to do, get that detached, and I'll show you a little trick I learned. You know how those are hard to get hold of? Just take yourself a napkin, go in there, reach, grab that, and you can pull that, typically you can pull that right out. Now, turkey feathers are a little bit deeper seated than chicken feathers, so we gotta be ready for it. See, this napkin allows you to grab that pin feather in there. So just keep an eye. Now, in the joints, you're gonna notice here in the joints, there's quite a few feathers. So, just gotta take some time, get through there. Any of these pinch points in here, the, the whiz-bang chicken plucker that they use can't get in there to get those, the fingers of that chicken plucker can't get in there to get those out. Same thing, gotta watch for some feathers out here on the wings and such. You see here we had a little bit of bruising. That is no big deal at all, completely safe to eat. This here will go in each one of these joint areas and make sure that we get out the feathers because we want you to have a great experience. This one here still needs to thaw a little bit. We just check in this joint area, see if there's any feathers, any of these tight joints. You can see that little bit of discoloration just check to make sure there's no feathers there. Again, another culprit's going to be up inside of here. You can see there's just a little bit. Just pick them off. It's no big deal. There's some here in the, in the wings underneath the skin flap. Turkeys have a little extra skin on their wings than what chickens do. So just get in there and make sure that's all done. Now, I'm going to go through this more. It takes more time to do it, but you don't want to watch me do it forever. Then when you're done, I do like to give it a quick rinse just to make sure that we've got everything off. I run it, run it through here, then I'll just fill up that cavity in there and let it soak up in there. On these birds, it don't go straight through, but no problem there. I just get this inside and we're using cold water, okay? And we get that up in there and fill the cavity. I just take that in the sink, turn it around. Then I do the same thing up here in the neck area. There's a flap of skin. I'll kick that skin back and I just rinse around in here, make sure we got everything out. Now, the other thing I do too, because our dog loves chicken parts and turkey parts, 
I'll just take this little extra flap of skin right here and cut that off because when you roast that it's just going to burn and not be a lot of fun. So anyway, we'll do that. Now I'll feed this neck, liver, and heart to our dog raw. Now our dog is used to eating bones and stuff and he eats it calmly and slowly. If you have a dog that hasn't ever had this before, they may get awful excited, eat it quickly, okay? Or you may have an aggressive eater. Not a good idea to do that. But if you have a dog that's calm and slow, there's, we don't have any problem, but of course, always consult your vet. So um, anyway, our, our dogs are just used to eating meat here on the farm. So, but when you do that, uh, however you want to prepare your turkey, I've got one I'm doing a brine on this evening. This one here, I'm just going to do a butter underneath the breast skin. So I'll reach in here and, and stick butter under the skin between the breast with some seasonings. I'm going to smoke them both on the Traeger. You'll probably do yours in the oven, and even some of you are brave and, and do the deep fried. But uh, I think if you're health conscious, you're probably not. But the smoking is a great way to do it or in your oven. So I wish everyone a great Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoy these turkeys. I'm looking forward to how they turn out. It's something we're considering doing on our own farm in the future. But give us your feedback, tell us what you think, and we hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Take care.